Hey guys, it's Lawrence from Laws of Physio and today we're going to fit a moon boot. So usually when you order moon boots, they're gonna come in a bag like this. Most of the boots now come nice and strapped up. This one's one I've opened before. And they do come with a little bit of padding and we'll talk about what that is later on, okay? So the main thing is check that the size is correct for the person. So um, our model here has a little bit smaller feet. So we're going with an extra small today. We'll see if it actually fits and if it doesn't, then we'll switch out the boot, okay? So when it comes in, the main thing is to make sure that these tabs are here because if these tabs are taken off, it means someone's used that boot before, okay? So majority of the time, it's just covered in Velcro, so you just need to pull it open and unstrap it, okay? There's a lining underneath that is what we're gonna to use to actually fit the boot on the person, okay? So, uh, shoes off for me. So with boots, we use them for ankle injuries, um, ankle fractures, any kind of toe fractures, anything where it's been recommended by a doctor or a surgeon that they don't wanna put pressure on it, or if you've done a really bad ankle sprain. So pop that in. So all you're gonna do is keep the person seated and you wanna bring their knees to about 90 degrees. And the goal here is to position the patient's heel as far back into the boot as possible. So kick all the way back, okay? Might be a bit difficult if someone can't weight bear as much, but you just try to get them to slide their heel as far back as possible. Comfortable? Okay, cool. So then you just Velcro down. Velcro down. Okay. And this is the fun part. So we've got Velcro on the side here. We're just gonna use this to loop it in on itself. Okay, and with the ankle one, this is where the padding comes in. So a lot of people do get friction injuries because the padding here cuts into their skin, okay? So that's where this padding comes in, okay? So this will stop this harsh plastic from cutting in. Just make sure to open it up and you can loop it through just like this. And that way there is a nice bit of padding between this plastic and the ankle. No cutting there, no good. And then you can loop that back on itself. On itself, okay. So once this is all nice and secure, and I'd be teaching the patient how to do this themselves because they need to obviously take the boot on and off when they're at home, I'd ask them to go for a walk. So get you to stand up, go for a bit of a walk. Does it feel comfortable? Yeah, cool. All right, having a seat, good. So the main thing you're gonna check with is if they can actually put pressure on their heel that their foot's in contact with the boot, okay? It is called a moon boot because there is a bit of a wedge and a little bit of a curve. So you're not gonna put complete pressure on that ankle, okay? Another thing is if the toes are overlapping. So if the toes are over the edge of the boot, it's too big, they're gonna trip over their toes. If you can't really see their toes at all, the boot might be too big and it's gonna affect how they walk, okay? The last thing you're gonna do is just pull the tabs up once you pull the tabs up, it will fasten everything into position. And this will mean that this boot is personalized for this patient. Comfortable? Perfect. 